Did you get that bottle of whiskey, Mikey? He's in, mate. Good to go. Yeah. First swing, lucky enough to have uh, pretty much six perfect days of weather and uh, first people on the spot for a year. So, but yeah, base camp is going to be a uh, second option. We're going to punch down and uh, go beat the feet for the first three days and um, yeah, see what we can see around the corner. And then from there, we'll potentially come back up, reset, and then uh, go pick up the northeastern end of the block. So, since we've got such good weather, rather than just Hunt around here, we we'll go and put some K's in and try and cover as much of this block as we can since, uh, yeah, like I keep saying, the weather's just perfect. Into it. That's just epic, man. Righto, well, we're just heading downstream and we're just trying to, just trying to find our way through this wee gorge. Mikey down there. Um, yeah, it's been about half an hour just going up and down, trying to look for an entry point up into this scrub here, but it's all pretty bad, so just going to have a look, see if we can hook around there, and then if not, we go up there, then around along there, and see, see if we can get around this corner. We want to go up a ridge. It's just around this bend here, so yeah, go have a look, see, beauty. Right, oh, we've had a change of plan. We've just pretty much been bluffed for about two hours. Well, not bluff, but just checkmated, really. Couldn't get round through this face wall. We may have been able to, but our time, etc., if we got stuck around there, we'd be sleeping on a dusty slip for the night, so. We're gonna head up here and at least we're gonna be in some hunting country for the night and hopefully we can find a little terrace or flat spot up there that we can camp. So yeah, we're gonna head on up. We're gonna fill up bottles and then hit it. We might make it work. Not much to hold on to. Nah, she's pretty steep up behind you there too. If I um if I was to sort of try and go up this gut here, would that give me any access to side around to the left? Up, up that gut. Yeah. I see Lisa's hand holds in here. <coughs> like if I go, I'm not gonna go off that bluff. Yeah, yeah just turn around, bro. Come up here, it's a bit safer. Not 100% sure how I'm gonna get up, but. Hey Stando, sure. are you going to be coming up this way? Yeah. You might have to grab my ice axe. Oh, yeah, I'll grab it. Sure, we're not even coming down, right? 
No. Hey? No, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's we can get back down there. Seen. It seems a pretty nice ball. I think he's at least 13. He's quite old. He's got like quite a bit of character on his horns. So we're going to take him. So on the spur. Two hundred forty yards away. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take him if I can get a shot away at him. He looks like he's. Possibly going to move off, but we'll see. Here you go, bro. Take him. You reckon, mate? Yeah. Job done on day one. How good. Day one action. Got himself a... That's the deal. What looks to be a fucking good bull. Again, yeah, not too bad, though. Eh? Skin and a fairly decent looking lid. Yeah. Had some age on him, which was the main thing. Yeah, had well, a bit of character too, eh? We're both a wee bit rusty on the old age angle. That was the first pop one. For yeah. Seen you always got to throw that in the mix. Could be a little bit of a mistake on the age and the... Uh, size but um, he had a beautiful skin on him so that'll make up for any of that anyway. That's it. So and yeah. a bit of a last of the day down in the creek so <laughs> to actually get up and see a decent animal sort of even though we're actually only like four hundred metres from camp, we've actually had a pretty bloody big day. <laughs> it's all good flagged in too so well when we say camp, it's only uh landing site really like we didn't we haven't set up anything there, we've just kept our uh, all our gear on our on our backs and we've just come up high planning to go over to that ridge that's in the cloud but we uh yeah we i don't know whether we made the right decision to turn back but um yeah it was just look, wasn't looking like we we're going to get through so we'll see we're going to go up round and and have a look tomorrow morning see if we can get through there so see we go we're going that way at some point. We're just going to work out how to get there. We'll get there, mate. We'll yeah. Get there. yeah, I think we'll probably we'll probably camp up here tonight and then go and get them tomorrow, eh, Mike? I reckon, man. We sort of just beat the clag. We had to make that call. Right, yeah. see, that, see that ball just there? There's a ball just there. <laughs> like 50 yards away. Is there? <laughs> oh, there was, yeah. I did hear something. Is he gone? Yeah. That's hard case. Well, that wind's coming up, right? So yeah, yeah. Well, we're just about to lose uh, pretty much uh, our visibility here, so we made the call, got it done. Sweet ball, we'll see how we get on later on. up pretty high in the cloud after shooting my ball last night and we've been rewarded by the cloud just pulling out and leaving us with a beautiful morning out. It's bloody nice and there's, there's quite a few balls around. We had a ball come in with about oh, about 50 metres of camp. There's a ball up on that skyline before and then I was just having a look and now there's two balls just up here. Oh, there's four balls now. So we'll get a, step, we'll get a spotter on there and uh, and see what they are, but man, 
paid off staying up by. Right, mate, we're, um, we're just getting ready to go have a look for my ball. And the old Kia's have turned up just as we're about to leave camp, so they know, they know they're about to have some free rain on some expensive kit. So, yeah, well, uh, we'll head off, we'll go have a look for the ball. So, yeah, see how we get on. Right, eight, we're not far away from the bull now. I've just down climbed through this stuff, up through there. The bull is, should be in that scrub here yeah, somewhere. It was up, up in here. So, we'll go and have a look, see what he's like. Ew. I bloody found him. Mikey found him up in the uh, up in the bush there. I was um, way off the mark. I was way up too high. But it's pretty standard for you. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> too high, boy. Ah! Yeah, one there. He's got some age. This skin's beautiful. He's actually Yeah. He's like still in his prime, eh? Like he hasn't broomed at all. He hasn't broomed. Yeah, I reckon. Be too lucky. Oh yeah, up there. 
Three. Just up there, I reckon. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. He's a thumper, boy. Bloody hell. He's a thumper. Crikey. Righto, we managed to track him down up in this scrubby face behind us here. He'd fallen down into sort of where we thought he had. Mike found him down the scrub, which was cool. Um, he's a beautiful, he's a beautiful bull. Like his skin's just unreal. Like this, this blonde tips through there, and he's he's pretty. Uh, He's pretty fluffy for first swing, to be honest. So definitely, definitely uh, taking the skin for the floor. He's gone. He's gone 13. Uh, I'm not an expert. He's actually gone a little bit over 13, but I'm not an expert on aging him. But we put him between seven and a half and eight and a half years old. So he hasn't started to broom back in his tips, um, which is quite cool as well. So yeah, he's bloody nice bull. So pretty stoked to take him on that sort of first night and take a wee bit of the pressure off so we'll get the job done and then we'll head back up the hill and go see if we can find stand up ball we saw a pretty nice one this morning so we want to go and have another look at that ball cheers yep. so just literally pulled into camp picking up Gordy's ball we're um, spying this decent looking Last night, and uh, he's literally just popped, so we just saw the yeah, house shit. And uh, he's gonna pop over through the spot room, so we've done this pretty perfect. He looked good this morning, so we'll shoot over and have a look now, grab some gear. Right, we're just back down at base camp and we just packed up kit again and we're going to head head up here uh, up around here we're going to try and climb up through that scrub up onto that top ridge well up onto this um, intermediate ridge get up on there and then spend another two nights up on the tops hunting hunting these faces over there so yeah we'll see how we get on wasn't too bad coming back down from um, camp last night it was about an hour back down so that was all right so yeah it's packing up now and we'll get into it so hopefully we can get into a bit of action tonight yeah cheers Was our camp there for the last two nights up there and we climbed up here had a look around that's where I shot my ball down in here so here have a look around right out we've just made the top sort of plateau that we're gonna camp in tonight light a year pick it's pretty sick but kind of get the feeling the tops have been cut out pretty hard so there's some real nice bluff country in behind me here but I don't know like usually you'd see the odd sort of herd bull up in this stuff but um, yeah not really seeing that in this spot <coughs> we've only probably seen about 10 about yeah 8 to 10 bulls it's been cut pretty hard but yeah, maybe there'll be something 
in there, but we'll sort of focus down the scrub. I think that's where they'll probably probably be over the side. So stand those over here, just trying to find camp, and we'll, we're going to join them, and yeah, we'll get into it. Any of those good? They're all fucking small, eh? Righto, what's well, day four? We've just rolled out of camp, our tops camp here. We've just been having a look down to the country that we were glassing last night. Seen a couple balls. We've got a young bull down here that we sort of had a pretty good look at. And yeah, we don't reckon he's that old. He's probably, yeah, just not quite there. So we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt and let him go. But he was, he's right within range and pretty easy recovery. But yeah, we'll, we'll let him go. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But we've got eyes back on this nice shambuck from last night too. So yeah, it's real hard to tell if he's over 10. I think if he is 10, he's probably not much over it so it's a bit of a mission to try and work out whether it's a shooter but we're just going to watch him for a while and make a day on him but yeah crack and warning we we'll forecast for a bit of cloud but it hasn't come in yet so see what happens that's a shot that's a shooter for sure
and just parked up back at camp, just having a wee chill, and uh, yeah, Mikey had a crack of that buck, but yeah, no luck, it was quite a tricky shot, like pretty much straight down, and yeah, he's pretty sure he missed it, I wasn't, it, it all happened in a bit of a rush, and I wasn't really close to him with the camera to get on him, so yeah, it's a bit of a shame, um, it looks like that one might have got away, but that's just how it is. That's just what happens hunting. Uh, you can't win them all. But, yeah, maybe the odd chance he might turn back up, but I'm not too hopeful on that. But we'll see. You can never count anything out in the hills. It can all change pretty quick. So, yeah, we'll just see. I think the plan is we're just going to hang around here for another night and see what happens. It's forecast for a bit of cloud tonight, so we might get clagged out again, but uh, it's all good. We'll just play it by ear and it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow so we'll be able to get back into it tomorrow. Ew. Right, eh? Well, it's day five. We're still up on the tops. We had a pretty crazy morning, actually. We dropped off over the ridge that we've been sort of glassing his face from and the buck that Stando had a crack at yesterday was there again. And so Stando had a crack at him again and missed him again. So something must be going on with Mikey's rifle. Miss. Fuck. Where did it hit? Right. You shit me. Yep, miss. There he goes down there, bro. Yeah, he's off, bro. He sighted in before we come in. It was all good. He said it was couple inch group at 400 yards so don't know what's happened that's two misses now and, the, and it was quite a big miss like it was I don't think it was a shot here looked like something's up with his rig it was a good like half a meter miss so yeah not too sure what's going on but anyway we're going to try and come up with a plan for the evening it's our last evening so we'll see what we can do you yeah. It's a beautiful day. We actually saw our first bluff bull on this side this morning. There's one perched up up here. He wasn't bad, he was actually quite a nice bull, but one of his tips had broomed right back or snapped off. So yeah, he was lacking on one side. The other side would have been would have been well over 13, I think, but yeah, just one side let him down so. We let him go, but he was well recoverable. But yeah, might might be a nice old character ball for somebody, but yeah, not for us. So yeah, I'm just going up here just to have a look over, make sure there isn't any new balls popped up this creek. So yeah, hell of a day. Right, oh, it's the last evening, and we just parked up on this wee vantage point and getting a bit screwed by the cloud again but it's just it's just the way it is in here it just happens pretty much every evening but it's all good can't do anything about it and we just yeah we've just managed to pick up a, a ball up in the gut just in here we've got probably about 45 minutes of shootable light left we're just trying to have a look see if he's a shooter um but yeah We'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. We'll touch base with you in a wee bit. Right, oh, well, it's uh, last morning and we're just waiting for the machine to fly out. Been a bloody good couple of days, isn't it? It's been pretty awesome, man. Pretty awesome, couldn't get the weather any better than that. It's been pretty much five perfect days of weather, apart from uh, evening clag, which happened four out of five evenings, but it is what it is. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. But um, nah, awesome ball on the deck for you, boy. Yes, yeah, good to get uh, the skin. Yeah, we we'll just chuck my rifle up on the hill there, and uh, yeah, shoot nine inches out to the right, which uh, 
was a pretty wild miss on that shambuck, which is a bit of a bastard, but um, it is what it is. Yeah. Like next time. <laughs> yeah, well, who knows what happened, eh? Like, I don't you, you put some rounds through it before you come and you verified it. And Did a range day before we turned up and it was pinned then, so yeah, who knows? Don't know what's maybe going a knock. on there, but. Uh, That's all you can do, eh? It's all good. It is what it is. Keeps you coming back, doesn't it? Yep. Yep. All right. Sweet ass. Cheers. Cheers for watching. See ya. Oh, <laughs>